Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are we all doing? Good morning, do. How is everything? I know that it's been a long time you guys see my face. <laughs> and the sleep that I have right now, right? <laughs> you just do my teeth small, small. I know you've been looking at, oh, this is the new house, yes. Because I has moved out, so I have cut that. A lot that have need to be this period, like. Divine, I'll cook it, yeah. I'll cook it. You want to cook with me? Come on, cook. Come on, cook with Bobby. Now, so my people, we are the house. We are currently, although we are still in all, no. And we've all left all, I'm still in all. But we moved to a far part of all that is a little bit far from, very far from the, uh, the old place that we have. So, but we did a roller coaster. Since I posted that video that my mom still left, it's not been easy without mom stay around. Child care has been dealing with me, like dealing with me. You can see one is being bought while I am cooking for the others. It's not been easy. But we get good. We get back in. So we moved house because um, the former house it was filled with mold. If I have the video, I'll add it to this. Video. Divide, please close the door. It was filled with as a mood, plenty mood that can affect the children. And we've been battling with it for some time. So the landlord will say eh, that we should we should always open the door. And it's been long. We've been in that house for like one and a half years. Almost one and a half years. But I said it's time to move. If this man is not doing it. We don't do anything concerning the, the mood. We keep complaining, but you just say we should open the house. But that mood, there are all this boo booty boo mood everywhere toilets, parlor, bedroom. We have to paint upon paint, keep painting. We'll put some things, we'll use so many things, but you know what? So, we got to move. The, the mood, do you guys should always check your house? If you are moving into any house, especially during summer, that's when you will know the house, the type of house, when you when you rent house. Because if the house starts bringing out mood, it can affect your children, it can affect their lungs, especially children, because they, it will start, they won't be able to breathe very well. And I have kids, I have three kids, how will I stay there? As you know, no grill, he, he did not do um, central eater too, so he was buying us small, small eater. So it's better we move. And now we have moved to, to a bigger place. Before mom see came, we were just like, oh, two bedroom is okay. But when mom see came, we saw that two bedroom is not enough for us. So we are now in a three bed with a very big garden, as in big garden, big garden for the children to play. And now the children are uh, the children now are on holiday. It's not been easy, but God is our strength. God is our strength. We should be checking on you because I am not alright. I'm just trying to be alright. Check on me. Don't always come to me and ask questions. That's how I'm doing. I'm not fine. Anytime you see me, you just give me a hug. Like I've not been in church for almost almost one and a half months now. Because of my children were having chicken balls back to back. Chicken balls back to back. People who had brought it from school. Those that one, they just called me, hello, can you come and pick up people in little while? We found out that he's having chicken pots. I saw it in his face, but I was not sure it was chicken pots. So, but I told you, let's just go to school. I didn't really notice. I did. I was not too sure. So, they called me from school. They come and pick your son, he's having chicken pots. That's how I went there, got there. And it was actually chicken pots. We went to the street, we went to the pharmacy. The pharmacy said, this is chicken pots. Gave us calabai lotion and gave us one... Um, one um, oral drug to use for him, so he was oh we are trying we're now trying to take away the other siblings from him. I have to go to Sunderland. Shout out to Tony Baker who hosted us in Sunderland. So hi and divine and my baby went to Sunderland to at least stay away from Pipe Lolua so Pipe Lolua can stay with the dad. One week after when we came back, Pipe Lolua was fine. Immediately we came back two two or three days after divine took it. We we'll make sure that they were not baffling. Because if the man did the equal have bath, he started itching him and it was now getting more. 
for divide. We use the experience of Kupe for divide. So we immediately I started Calera lotion. Started I, was, I don't go through a lot. After some some days, divide got ill. Now so this baby took carrier. Mommies, mothers are brought. The Lord is our strength. The Lord will help us all. That's how that one to carry it. This is then another thing we start reasoning how to change school for the children. This place to pick me school is like 25 minutes drive by car. If I enter buses, it's gonna be like one and one and a half hour. See those people that used to say that all, all is small, all is small, all is very, very big. Oh, to be to check me. All is big, oh. So this, I used to tell my husband that this part of all makes me look as if I'm outside hall. But I'm inside hall. The way he used to stay around two years before, I now moved to Anja. <laughs> the way it is. But... I believe God to keep us safe and to keep us safe. I was hoping that I would do content for the house. But moving houses has not been easy. If you have moved house recently, please, how did you do it? It's not easy to move houses. But now, even now that the children are now more. Before, when we moved out at first, we were just four family, family of four, with um, divine, with my two boys. But now that we are five, children don't plenty. It's not easy. It's not easy. And ah, uh, decorating, moving for like one week. I, I didn't get myself. I'm still not okay. You can see my voice is gone. I'm still not very, very okay, but. I'm trying to be fine. I'm trying to be fine. Like I'm in that state, state of mind that every small thing just puts me in tears. I just start crying and I just start crying because so I'm just trying to be fine. And this is to tell some people that um, everybody are going through different things in their life. When you send a chat or you call somebody or the person is not reaching out to you, you don't feel like um, hey, this person don't, don't reach out to me, I won't reach out. Reach out to them because some people are actually going through some things. You don't even know. Maybe they are passing through some problems and they even need somebody to talk to. Now only God could just help us seriously because many people think that when you are abroad, you are alright, everything is fine. You are not always fine. I know it's fine. So you need people, you still need people. You still need community of people around you. All of us that be searching for job, like job in our field, not care and the like or doing your field, maybe what you study in school, like I studied data data science and trying to get a job that can sponsor. You know, try not trying to get any job is fine, but job that can sponsor in that field is not easy. I'll see rejection sometimes, I just delete, but it gets into me like, <sighs> hey God, how are you guys doing it? And at this point, I know that some people will be feeling with the increase in IHS fee, increase in visa fee, many people will feel like instead of doing the post study, let's just go to the care, go on self, because as it is, especially for family, now imagine how much I'm going to pay for a family of five. For visa fee and IHS fee, if I get a skilled work visa, or I should just go and stick and sleep on NHS sites and be looking for something related to management or related to data analysis in NHS, that is when I'm not going to pay the IHS fee. But as long as I look for something outside NHS or outside else, I will pay IHS fee. I said I'm doing care or anything else care on the life. But now, with the children, what will really pay me? Something I can do from home. Because now there's no more. Mama has gone. I have three kids. How will I survive, guys, with going to pick shifts and the like with the kids? I have to, did I tell you guys, I have to even resign my customer service job. I resigned. 
I was falling sick. Baby was falling sick. Bobo walk on sick back pony. Even look at my mouth. My my daddy said is I called some days back. Said is Ishino. I am going through a lot. We are all going through a lot. We are all going through a lot. And it's only God that can help us survive. Only God that can help us survive. Only God. So hold on to your God, though. Hold on to your God. Uh, my prayers are with those that um, are applying for visa at this period. I don't even want to imagine how much you guys have done increase of proof of fund. I know a lot of people that have done three three months proof of fund. As they are increasing it, they are increasing the wando rate again. Going to see you guys through. When we came in 2021, wando rate was not even up to 600. It was 500 and something. But now that the whole increase is here, I don't know how you guys are going to uh, dream it. I just pray God, God work out things for you guys. And now that there's no more dependent visa. Whew, it is real. It is real. And some people have asked me too that should they do school? Should I still do school with all these things that is happening for dependents or just get a care job? Sincerely. If you can do school, fine. But if you can't, if you can see a care job to do, if you can see a care job that can sponsor you straight, please go for it. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I want to help me pick this one. Go for it. If you see a care job that will sponsor you straight from Nigeria, that is that is not fraud, fraudulent, and that will give you shifts. Go for it. Instead of going to school, because now students cannot bring dependents. With the care visa, you can still bring dependents. God to give you guys wisdom, seriously. That's an update of me, of my life as I now. Please, guys, don't forget to like this video. Please, if you have anything to advise me to, please speak up. Because my tired is tired. My tired is tired. Thank you, guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye.